my name is Donnie, and you suck at Photoshop, and you're hurting everyone around you. Winner. Um, first off, last week we did a lesson, and some people got real, a little carried away, um, and I, I just don't appreciate this. You know, we we did a lesson with Ronnie, and now Ronnie's been showing up. Iron Chef all over the web. People are putting Ronnie in places where huh, he just doesn't belong. And I think it's you have to you have to decide for yourself what's right and what's wrong. But please don't download Ronnie and doctor up photos of of people. Please don't download Ronnie and hack into other people's sites and, and replace those photos. Please don't download Ronnie. Com. Today we're going to talk about a feature in Photoshop that goes widely underused, so much so that the people who created Photoshop don't even know it's there. It's called measurement log, and measurement log is typically used to compare features in photos uh, from a technical standpoint. So, for instance, if you wanted to uh, measure how much an unidentified rash has spread across time, or you want to uh, examine an aerial photo to measure the distances of certain routes to prove or disprove stalker charges, or you've got DNA data that you are measuring for a paternity test. But today we're going to just use measurement log to do something a little bit different, and we're going to learn it in a different way so I can know that you can keep up. We're, go we're going to do it as a play, and, and we're going to open up, we're going to we're going to do Photoshop theater and we're going to select our cast of characters and I've created these two lovable guys and they're, we're going to go to window, arrange, tile vertically so we can see these next to each other. We're going to compare the features in these two photos and I, just so you know, I, 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 I size these photos so that they are they have a similar feature and we're for, for consistency and that's in the eyes with the human face you can measure the distance between the eyes which um, which allow us to then examine all the other features so um, so this is the son and this is the dad hey son how's it going fine dad um, how's your infant latent acne go how's that going <laughs> fine it's it cleared up you would have known that if you weren't living with carol breckmuller hey don't bring up the carol breckmuller thing i just wanted to i'm, I'm here to see how you're developing <sighs> so let's measure how how the sun's developing we'll go to window measurement log and that's going to open up this window down here where we're going to be able to record all of our measurements grab the ruler tool and you know, yeah, so the sign of a, of, a, of a man is the distance between his ears. That's how you tell how smart a guy is. So what we're going to do is we're going to click and drag the ruler tool across from ear to ear, and we'll click record measurements, and that's going to record um, that length. And we can see, we scroll over here, it's, it's girthy. So now all we have to do is go over to the other document and go from ear to ear and hit record measurements again. And then now we can compare these two measurements and in the sun shorter. Yeah, that's right, shorter, short head. <laughs> you, you wish you had the, the girth in the, in the thinking power that I do. Yeah, I guess. Well, let's now let's look at the brawn. We're going to measure the shoulder distance. So let's click our ruler tool again and go from shoulder to shoulder. Click record measurements and do the same thing over here. And we can go compare those. T yeah, there's a. Uh, 
Don't stack up there either. Yeah, don't stack up. Never did. You know what? Why don't you just leave me alone? Why don't you cry some more about it? Obviously, you did a good job of that. That was not... There was a scary clown there that day when the picture was taken. I don't care about scary clowns. I'm sick and tired of the fact that my son's turned into nothing. Okay. All right, well, maybe... Maybe you don't measure a photo by how many home runs he passed for or how many girls he ding-donged on prom night. Maybe you measure a photo by how the photo of his son turned out. Yeah, you measure the photo by how the photo of his son turned out. Maybe instead of wanting this photo to stop here, we, sh we should be wanting this photo to have a photo of a son. Wait a minute, are, are, we, are we talking about photos or paternity tests now? Okay, um, well, you can, you can take these measurements and you can export them to a comma delimited text file. But in this case, these don't matter at all, so we'll just delete them. Hey, what are you doing? And we know there's just one measurement result we're interested in now positive.